Three years ago, Delilah was laying her plans. The Duke's people gathered at the home of a mine baron named Aramis Stilton to commit some horror in her name. I need to know how they made her immortal. But where was I three years ago? Letting Emily daydream through council meetings, teaching her fencing and back alley fighting. I always expected an enemy we could put down with a sword. Soldiers, spies, assassins. Instead, we got something else. Beyond the pale. Beyond the natural world. Instead, we got hit by someone like me. Listen to me, talking to myself like the old loon I am. I need to know why Delilah can't be killed. Everything we've learned implies that something strange happened at Aramis Stilton's home three years ago, but then he disappeared. Stilton lived in a bunker kept secure by a fancy lock made by Jindosh. Maybe inside you'll learn more about how to stop Delilah. But I have to get there first, through a ruin created by the Duke where I used to live. Megan had an intriguing idea. Howlow is leader of the Howlers. He wants Vice Overseer Byrne killed. And of course, Byrne wants Paolo dead too. Both groups will attack you on sight, but walk in with the corpse of their chief enemy, and they'll treat you like family. So that gives me at least one way into Aramis Stilton's house. I'm pretty sure that will work. Coming back here, seeing it changed, run into the ground. Some people have reached beyond others. The old Batista neighborhoods, full of mining families, called the Dust District now. Vice Overseer Burn. I dread each interaction with the Abbey. I knew plenty of people like Paolo growing up. Maybe not as crafty. I didn't know Aramis Stilton. Who was he? Loyal to the old Duke. Stilton helped build modern Karnaka with those silver mines. Worked his way up from nothing to a fortified mansion. But the new Duke spends money so fast, the mine crews work all day and all night. The district's in ruins. The dust drives out anyone except the most desperate. The Duke of Circonos has made a mess of things. His father was a good man. True, but the new Duke's misery has only been possible with Dunwall's support. In any case, you'll have to pass through the dust district. Maybe Stilton's still in there, or maybe he's dead. the dust district. She'll tell you more.
orders from the Duke. We're losing too many people. Good soldiers blinded by that hallucinogenic powder the Howlers use, then stabbed to death or dragged down by the Abbey's hounds. One young lieutenant got hit by an overseer grenade, and that was it. He was one of the Duke's Disney brothers. Silver dust out of my ears. Grand Palace. That's an assignment. All apples and slippers. Could be anything. Hey, the wall of light's not working. Did you hear someone over there? I just need to make sure. can't. Hello, Lord. Stilton's home. I've been doing reconnaissance. Talking to people. The Overseers and the Howlers have divided up the district. Just ahead is neutral territory where no one will harass you. But further on, the Howlers and the Overseers both have boundaries set up. And beyond those points, they'll attack you on sight. Aramis Stilton is the real goal. Sokolov said you worked out a plan. Yes. I believe that if you take out Powell or Vice Overseer Byrd, the other one will grant you safe passage and will help you get inside Stilton's home. Neutralize either one of them and bring him to the other. Got anything else? Byrd is protected by the Overseers. Paolo has the Howlers, but I think he's also got some kind of black magic charm. They say he's got to die twice before the sun sets, or he can't be killed. Good luck with that. The Howlers and the Overseers have been dicking each other over territory for a while. The whole district is holding its breath. Let the Grand Guard worry about it. It's not our priority. The Grand Guard's just another gang. People trust the Abbey, or the Howlers, more than Dunwall Tower. And whoever wins in the Dust District is going to inherit the city. Even if the Duke falls, 
No one's going to respect the Howlers enough to let them rule. You of all people should know better. says he's carrying some old lady's hand. Which, dead at dog's age, you can...
This must be Paolo's place. hand.
Hello? Anybody? Don't make me search this whole place. I don't have time for that. You know who's looking for you. Heathen or no, you have done us a thank the I service. know an agent of an the opportunity to bleed Karnaka from the likes of you. You would die. Dust. Take it. You won't get away. Burn lucky day. Yeah, he does good work here. Only Hello? those allied Hello? to the outsider need fear us. Our virtuous actions. Mm. So the others will not do it their way. Huh? Oh. I'll be dead! Someone's put a stop to Paolo's twisted agenda. Do you have any idea the good you've done? With Paolo out of the way, I've got big plans for Kanaka. I've heard about you and your ambitions, Vice Overseer Byrne, but for me, this was a means to an end. Does the Abbey remember its friends? Yes, we do. And our enemies. What is it you want? I need to get into Aramis Stilton's home. Now that's a curious thing to want. There's something very wrong with Stilton's house. It's actually a great concern to me. I need to know what happened there. Help me and you'll benefit again. Thanks to the Duke, we've lost our proper place here in Karnaka. And we've been fighting just to hold the streets against the heretic Paolo. But you shut him down for me. And for that, I'll give you what you want. I'm listening. Interrogating one of the Howlers, we learned that some of them knew how to open up the Jindosh lock and to went to Aramis Stilton's home. Probably just Paolo and a trusted few. What you're looking for is probably connected to why the Duke had Karen Jindosh seal up Stilton's home. All right, then. This might be the most worthwhile visit I've ever paid to the Abbey. I'll remember your help, Vice Overseer Byrne. As will I, my masked friend. Take our friend here away. I hope you find what you're looking for.
Stilton's house is cursed. Look after yourself. No good comes from putting aside the strictures. Only madness and death. Remember that. It's better to live a life of silence than unleash a stream of untruth. I was weak. I must be ever vigilant against the outsider. Who's there? He knows my heart, tests me, taunts me. I will not give in. Sure, I took it with me. The place is haunted. What were you hoping you, you going fool? Anywhere. Uh... You are so dead. What was that? Did you hear that? What was that? What? Wait for my signal. Mm. Give me a minute, Duran. Ooh, some... Uh, never mind. Maybe another time. Or not. Let's go. That's it. The information was good. 